Okay, also, aside from um, reconstituting, reloading my primers with the Strike Anywhere matches, the ones with the white tip, um, I've also been making some gunpowder with Strike on the Box matches. These are the ones without the white tip. Uh, you don't want to put the white tips inside your case or it will be uh, too much of a high explosive and uh, too much of a good thing is a bad thing sometimes. So all I'm doing with this is again remove with my uh, little pliers removing the heads off the matches and I uh, and the process for turning these into the powder is exactly the same as what I was doing when I was making my primers. Just mash them. Uh, I found that the uh, that once I mash them flat, that the uh, twisting action is what really breaks them up into a nice uh, nice powder. And uh, there's a book that you can find on the internet called Homemade Guns and Homemade Ammunition. It's available as an ebook on philby.com and uh, it will show you um, load data, how many of these match heads you need for a uh, particular uh, uh, round. I use the 45 ACP. And uh, once you have that ground up to the consistency of, the, of uh, sugar pretty much, you have turned it into gunpowder and uh, I can actually load that in a case and fire a bullet with it but it turns out that even though these uh, matches are only about 50 cents a box it takes enough of these that it's actually a little more expensive than buying conventional gunpowder so it's only something you want to do to prove to yourself that you can do it and uh, to know if you can't get gunpowder you have a way to shoot that's all. Thanks a lot.